Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be repressing some makeup. I have the Fenty highlighter here, which is part of my Drop 5 by Fall. I've used up a lot of it, and now all that's really left is what's on the edges right up here. And I really just want to repress that so it's going to be a little bit easier to use. And for my Pan That palette, I really want to make some fragrant shadows, because I've hit pan on every shade except for that dark brown shade. And I feel like I'm getting, hmm, I'm, I'm feeling inspired. I really want to try some Franken shadow. So I am going to be mixing some shades from this palette and repressing them together inside the same palette. So I'm going to show you everything that I do to repress makeup. But before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of tutorials. And if you want to see any more and you're not already, I hope you consider subscribing. Hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. So I'm gonna show you how I actually do the whole process, but before we get into it, I'm just gonna show you the products that I use to repress. First off is just a kind of like sharp instrument tool just to kind of break up the makeup. You can literally use anything, the blunt end of a makeup brush. I use this cuticle tool that I got in a nail kit from Deborah Lipman. I also have just a little like Dixie cup here. It's just like a little paper cup that you use when you like rinse your mouth out with mouse wash. If whatever I'm like repressing is too big to repress within the actual pan i'll repress it in like this little cup and then put it back into the pan but for the most part i think especially the shadows they're going to be small enough that i can just break them up and repress them right there in the pan i always have makeup wipes on hand just in case because this can be a very messy process for repressing makeup, I like to use this 91% isopropyl alcohol. It's technically a first aid antiseptic, but it's the, the best alcohol or the highest percentage I can find just at my local Target. This is just the Target brand right here. It's really affordable and you can get a gigantic bottle like this. This is 32 fluid ounces and I'm only down to here, like right at the top of the bottle. I'm not going to go through this anytime soon but it was really affordable and on sale. You really want to go for as high of the alcohol content as you can get because you're going to want to make sure that it dries out, you know, with, and not affect your makeup too much. Next, you're going to need some instruments to actually press what you've repressed in. So take these shadows, for example. I actually have a Barcade <laughs> Arcade token, and it's literally the exact same size as the pan. So I'm gonna use this when I repress the pan inside of there. And for my Fenty highlight, I'm just gonna use this little blush pot that I have because the bottom, I really think, is going to be plenty of room for what's left of the highlighter. I really don't think the highlighter is gonna be that big after I repress it, so I think this is gonna give me plenty of room. And last but not least, paper towels, because whenever I repress the makeup, as you see, well, as, as I'll show you later on, I'll put the paper towel down and then get the pressing thing and then you actually press it. So I'm just gonna repress the one side of the Fenty highlighter, but I am going to make some Franken shadows out of my Pan That palette. So let me just tell you what I'm gonna do before I jump in and start repressing. I'm gonna mix these two shimmer shades right here because I really liked using both of them as a face highlight and with just the ring around the corner or the ring around the pan, it's harder to use them that way. So I wanna mix those two together. I really wanna mix the darker shimmer shade over here with the dark brown right over here just to see what I'm gonna get from it. I loved how this looked all over my lid and I am struggling a bit with the shade. So I really just like that that's gonna be kind of an experiment. I just wanna see what's gonna happen. And then another experiment, I wanna mix the glitter shade with what's left of the light brown transition shade right over here. So I am gonna mix all of all my shades together to make three Franken shadows and that'll be all that's left of my Pan That palette. Okay, so I'll talk through the process for the Fenty one since it's a little bit smaller and a little bit easier to use. So what I'll do is I'll take my tool first and just break up what's left that's very very soft so i'll just break up all the product until it's right there in the middle and this is actually so soft i don't think i really need to add the alcohol to repress it so i'm going to try to just press it like this and see how it turns out i'm just using my coin and pressing down wow and that was actually so much easier than i thought it would be just because the highlighter formula was so soft i didn't even need to add any alcohol so I just repressed it right there in the middle of the pan and I'm really happy with the way that it is right there. So I'm just going to leave this open on my vanity overnight to let it dry. I doubt it needs to because I didn't add any alcohol to it, but that is the Fenty repressed. Okay, so the pan that palette is going to take a little bit more work, so I am going to just speed that up and just show you guys a little bit of the process as I go through making the Franken shadows.
one shade down, two to go. Two down, one to go. So this is the final look right after repressing. I'm gonna let these dry fully for 24 hours and then I'll show you the complete repressing. Okay, and after drying for 24 hours, this is our result. This is the highlighter right there. I did clean up the pan around it just a little bit. It is a very soft formula, so it does feel a bit more flaky, so I just have to be a little bit more careful with how I apply it so that it doesn't crumple a little bit. If it does get too soft, I might try to add in a little bit of alcohol just to see how that affects the formula. The eyeshadows came together beautifully. Let me not blind you with this mirror. <laughs> The eyeshadows came together beautifully, so I've got the three shades now, my three Franken shades. I've got my glitter and the light brown right here. I've got my two kind of metallic-y shimmers right here. And then I have the dark brown with the darkest shimmer over here. And then I cleaned out the rest of the pans just so that it would look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. But I am really excited about this. I will throw a picture up with swatches and a picture of the shades in natural daylight since it is 24 hours later and it's, you know, dark. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's not the, like, prettiest repressing ever, but it definitely works. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching my repressing video. If you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments and I can answer down there. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.